Hello everybody, I am Nico D. This is the NanoPi R6S. I use the NanoPi R6S as fast NAS, so I use a USB 3 to SATA SSD on it. That can do 400 megabytes a second. And I have got 2.5 gigabit Ethernet that can do 250 megabytes a second, even a bit more, 280 megabytes a second. So it can't max out the USB 3, so this is ideal for me for fast NAS. I reinstalled Armbian today, and together we are gonna set it up to be an ass, and we are going to use Samba for that. So a first important step for me is set the mount point right. So I go to GNOME Disks, I select the correct partition, I go to Edit Mount Options, there I turn off User Session Defaults, I set Mount at System Startup, this is important, this is why I do this. If we don't do this, the drive will not mount at boot, and you will always have to mount it manually before you can access it. So by doing this, it mounts automatically if power cuts, and it goes on again, you can automatically access it again. This is only needed when you are using a USB device, when it is SATA or NVMe, it will automatically mount. So I change the name, mount points, to 2TB SSD, so it will mount in the MNT folder, and I call it 2TB SSD. All the other settings are ok, so I do ok. Now what I need to do is reset my computer, because it isn't mounted yet in the correct spot. So here it should mount, but it isn't there yet, so let's reboot the computer. So sudo reboot. So now we are rebooted, let's go into the mount folder, MNT. And as you see here is the 2TB SSD, so now we will install Samba, so sudo apt install Samba. And now we have to set up Samba, so use your favorite text editor, for me that is Genie, so sudo Genie slash etc slash Samba slash smb.conf There we go down, and here above printers I always put it there. It doesn't matter I think where it is, but I always set it there. So I make a share, and I put all this data there. So let's go over it. So, comments, it is a 2 terabyte on the R6S, so the path is to the mount, 2 terabyte SSD. Writable, yes, that means I can write on it. Guest, okay, no, I do not want guests, so that means nobody else except me is able to access it. If you want guests, then you set it to yes. Browsable, yes. Create mask 0777, directory mask 0755, and valid users Nico D. So there is only one user that can access it. You can add more users if you want, or you can add admin. So that's all you need. So save that. And now we need to create our Samba password. So for that we do sudo smb passwd a and then my username, so for me Nico D, and I type two times my password. And there is one thing left to do, and that is reboot the Samba service. So sudo service smbd restart. And now I type IPA to check what IP address I've got. And it is number 7 over here. So now on my Windows computer, 
You see here I've got my R6S shortcut, but of course the IP address isn't correct anymore because I reinstalled it. So let's change that from 18 to 7. And now let's open it and type the username that I selected and type the password that I selected. And here we are. So this is my access to my R6S. I can get 280 megabytes a second with this. I've got all my mp3s on that. I've got tons of games that I need to share over my SBCs. So this is an awesome thing to have. So many people show how to do this but they do not show to mount it automatically. That is only necessary when you are using a USB device like me with the USB 3 to SATA. So that will be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. See you all later. Bye.